It'll be next week when the community of Union City in Southern Canadian County will get a peek at their new media library center. The sod is being laid now and it'll soon be used for the library and additional classroom space for this growing school district. It might not sound like much to those in Oklahoma City and Tulsa, but having more than 300 students pre-K through 12th grade is an accomplishment for a rural school district like Union City. Enrollment's up to 301 kids and uh, we hadn't had we hadn't had that high of a student population since the early 90s. Progress on the new building won't be stopped by the latest round of cuts. It was the community's support of a bond issue which paid for that. I'm really lucky. I feel fortunate to be here. The community has a, has a good track record of passing bond issues here in Union City. And uh, I think uh, as long as the people see a need, then uh, you know they're going to vote yes. <laughs> and... Uh, Hopefully they're going to be real happy with this new building. Carroll says the school district has found creative ways to be efficient. For instance, he currently holds three jobs, high school principal and interim elementary principal. And one of his science teachers is also a classroom sponsor and coaches the basketball team. As far as the 7% cuts to the monthly appropriation, he says the district will have to watch expenses. We still have to have school. Uh, we'll still spend our federal money, our activity money and all that. But I have, you know, recently talked to the Board of Education and I've informed the staff that from, from here on out, we're really going to have to watch this and only buy the necessities. While Superintendent Carroll says that the school district can squeeze by this year, his concerns are pointed toward the next school year. We're hoping that maybe, maybe we'll be okay this year. Uh, but next year might really be scary. Um, I know for a fact there's already some schools out there doing non-payable warrants, and I'm afraid some of the really small schools like out west, it's really going to hurt them. Carroll says in speaking with other superintendents, consolidation has become a topic of discussion, with one of them predicting that within two years, 10 school districts will likely have to be combined to survive. He says the Union City School District will not be one of those which will have to consolidate because of the growing student population putting more kids into its classrooms. From Union City, Jason Doyle, The Oklahoma News Report.